starting this channel with a video about why I'm not going to use photography backpack anymore. These are made well enough that I use them when I'm doing short hikes, driving around looking for locations that I would later hike at. These are fine for that. This one in particular is pretty good for like, you know, half day, maybe full day. I've done full days a couple times and that's why we're going to get into this transition here. First of all, I'm not going to completely take this all apart because I the, the next trip I need to do is like a scouting location thing. It's the uh, photo hatchback 250 all weather two. That does the all weather thing means it has a uh, rain fly down here that covers the bag, which I've used a couple times. I also put one of these cheap Walmart um, like you blow into it and it blows up. It's a, like a cushion seat thing to sit on outdoors. That's worked pretty well. And that thing was like three bucks on some sale. These straps, terrible. Look at how this one's like rolled over on itself. I can't get this to fix itself unless I maybe straighten it and come through and put like two lines of stitching through here. Up top, I don't really do much up here. I will put like my balled up rain jacket or like this smaller one in here. But if you put too much like stuff in here, what happens is this area here has no structure to it. So this ends up bulging out and pushing into your uh, shoulder blades, which absolutely sucks. And as you can tell, there's no ventilation on this. Um, up here, I've put some lactate, some moleskin. In here is like um, dry bags and mylar blankets, stuff like that, just emergency stuff. This, I barely ever get into this. In here, business cards, an extra cable, USB cable. Headlamps, they usually go in this one, and the pocket two that I'm recording on sometimes sits here or it sits right here up against the side. Mice got to it, so there's just a hole there now. But I'll usually do like smart waters on the sides of these. If it's not going to rain, I don't take this, and then I just use smart waters. Um, but I always have like a thin, light, packable windbreaker rain jacket. This front pouch is really, really weird. And so here's an extra wool socks, a pair of underwear in here too. Always have a spare pair of underwear and socks. You can see the way it's stitched. It gets bigger down toward this bottom part, which is really awkward. And so this tiny little first aid kit fits in there. And it's like tight up top and then it just like drops into the bottom. There's a bit of paracord down here too. So in here, there's a few modifications I've added that I recommend for this bag. Um, I got this microfiber cloth from Ikea, and then I just tuck it down here so that it lays over. So that when I open this, it's not immediately exposed, or it just adds another layer of like, and if there's any water intrusion, this can absorb it because it kind of just lays over the edges. So in here, charger, I don't have my camera in there right now. Camera fits snugly right here. I have a tiny micro four thirds uh, Panasonic G85 fits right here. Filters, so polarizer, um, ND filter. This is just spare parts, bolts, uh, hex keys. Uh, batteries and extra stuff go in there. There's a, there's like a big battery bank in here, an anchor one, and then the extra Peak Design pad thing for the uh, capture clip that I usually have on the shoulder of this one, but I'm switching to another bag. The waist strap was kind of useless, by the way, also, so I took this off, put some clips on my, put some D-rings down here, put some clips on my tripod. And the tripod hangs on these two, kind of just bounces against my back. Yeah, this bag kind of sucks. So I did one really long all day hike with this. My shoulders were killing me because these straps are pretty thin up here at the top. There's no structure on the back. And it's a pretty good bag for like half day trips or, you know, maybe if I took out the, uh, the camera section. The other thing I wanted to say real quick. This camera box bag, uh, this is this material comes over and has like a cinch tie. Uh, I cut pieces of cardboard that fit perfectly on these edges and then wrapped. So I wrapped this top cinch part down around the box and then stuffed those cardboard pieces up here and it gives it a lot more rigidity because otherwise this just all collapses and when it's on your back it makes it even more uncomfortable. So that helped make it like, you know, usable, but. So this bag sucks. Most camera bags are kind of built similar ways and 
this is what I'll be using now. So this bag is, that bag's a 22 liter or 20 liter, so this is 34. So this is quite big, but the reason I went to 34, not the 24, was this extra pocket at the bottom that divides this upper spot and this lower spot. It gives me a nice place here to stuff my wet raincoat. And it's, it's huge in here. Like I could fit my, like camp, my small sling camera bag in here. Uh, has a rain cover because it's not a waterproof bag, but yeah, I think this is a better option because actual usable hip, like this is hip bolstering and then waistband strap is much thicker. So this is very comfortable, adjustable um, straps so you can fit it perfectly to you. Nice, thick, breathable foam. And then this is not on your back, so you get some breathing here. This this bag's just much, much better. These pockets on the side, massive. I can finally take things like this, 48 ounce bottle. I could fit it in there and I still have room. So I can actually carry this. I could probably put like one of my little tripod rigs in here with it easily I mean here's a Insta360 X3 here's a saw here's a knife See? So these pockets are freaking huge now I gotta get it all out of here Got somewhere for me to put my trekking poles so they kind of sit under your armpit at this angle and uh, that's nice you got to get into it it opens up really really wide next video I'm going to show my loadout I got this uh, absorbent rag in here in this netted pocket in case I need to you know just throw stuff in there this front pocket will probably be the first aid kit so it's really easy to get to raincoat down here I can throw my windbreaker either in this pouch, like lay it over the first aid kit or under it, or just throw it up here in that top pocket. For the camera, which is kind of the reason, you know, to do this. So this is be more comfortable for hiking and I can carry more stuff. But I've got this, which is waterproof. It does have a water resistant um, zipper. But I've realized that like I've taken a bunch of lenses before and then I just don't end up using them like 99% of the time I just use this which is my 14 to 150 so micro four thirds that's 28 to 300 so then this I can either strap to the hip belt here and then, and then de-link it or use one of these to uh, attach it back here at a buckle point so it doesn't slide around. I can carry my, so that my camera will be roughly in this spot. And then I just have to, you know, like that to get at it. And then if it starts raining really bad, this of course can fit in here. Let's undo these. Like I said, if I'm not taking the if I'm not taking the raincoat with a raincoat, oh, it's a tight fit. So, fits away. Now my other thing is, I'm thinking the tripod might be too heavy. I might have to get a carbon fiber one. But I'm thinking that that's gonna go these in one of the side pockets I think it's gonna go in one of these because this this is actually a lot deeper on one end so I might be able to get this like down in here like really down in there like really really down in there and this upper compression strap this is the best I got so far but like that I think this is going to work really well. Like the frame, putting this on with some weight in it and feeling it, 
this frame is so comfortable it feels like it feels like there's nothing on your back and this is quite heavy so when i would take my camera back i usually left this behind i wouldn't even bring it because it's so uncomfortable and so unwieldy and just it just sucks to take this anywhere i would miss shots like uh long exposures and stuff which for this bag which i'll link in the description i can fit some filters in here extra batteries there's a pocket up here for like a microfiber cloth and two little pockets here that's usually all i take so got stuff on the case i'll be able to throw the 360 in the bag other than that it's really just fitting all the odds and ends in like this little tripod that i take sometimes and then I can actually take, I can actually fit like one of my knives in there. Uh, so I really need to start carrying better knives and fire starting equipment. Um, and my saw. So I really should start, like even though I'm not backpacking and staying somewhere overnight, if some shit happens, I would rather have this and this on me just in case. It's just like a tourniquet, like. 99% time, of the time, you know, I'm not going to need this, but something bad happens. You never know. I guess that's it. That's really just me upgrading and starting my channel by saying camera gear kind of sucks sometimes. Yeah, use the Osprey Stratus 34. I think this is going to work a lot better. It's definitely going to be easier for me to get out and go farther than it is with that backpack. So leave a comment. Yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>